What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Jamal Bolton, for All Things Hoops, and I'm a guest contributor. Today, we're going to discuss Kenny Anderson's documentary, Mr. Chips. You know, it's been out for a few months now. Um, I saw it back in November when it was an early premiere. I saw it downtown in the city. And uh, let's just be quite frank. Uh, anybody who knows basketball, anybody who knows anything about sports, you know, you know Kenny Anderson was that dude. He was the real deal. Um, you know, he graduated from New York. He graduated from Archbishop Malloy in Queens. Left left high school as all time leading scorer in New York City high school basketball. This is what's sitting out the first quarter of all his games his freshman year because Jack Curran didn't want to start him. Um, Kenny was something else. He was a marvel. He was a hell of a player. This continued. His brains continued at Georgia Tech, where he helped lead the team to the Final Four as a freshman. He was All American his sophomore year, declared for the draft. When he got to the NBA, he was the second pick by the Nets, and it seems to have a bright future with Derek Coleman there. But that's where the trouble seemed to begin. You know, Kenny had a. Uh, he had a lot of demons, you know, for, it, it, you know, you can read it, you can see it in the documentary, a lot of things in his past, you know, he opened up about being molested as a kid, he opened up about being, you know, raising himself pretty much, you know, his mom, God bless her soul, she seemed like a great mother, but sometimes people just don't have control over certain situations, and Kenny was forced to grow up a little earlier than most of us would have liked to have um, grown up, but, um, you know, I didn't stop his brands on the court, you know, everybody and their mama wanted him, you know, he played for all the powerhouses as far as the AU teams go, and, you know, he played with the Gauchos most notably, but he was a Riverside player at one point as well, um, Kenny had it all, you know, from the outside looking in, but this documentary just kind of shows a man who's human, and he's just like everybody else, he's flawed, he has a lot of things wrong with him, you know, multiple kids with different women, um, just not having his finances in order right now, and that's unfortunate, because when you see it, it's hard not to like Kenny. You know, I met him after the premiere when I, when I, you know, and I got a chance, I went up to him and asked, can I have a picture with him? And it's just a guy that I admired and knew his name as a kid. And I still loved him and still have a lot of love for him and respect for him. He was cool. He took the picture. Didn't give me no hassle, no grief. Um, and you just want to see the guy win, you know, just going through it and looking at his career, what he went through. You know, he shouldn't have had to go through. He shouldn't have had, he shouldn't have any problems right now financially is what I should say. But, you know, some people don't know how to handle that kind of stuff. You know, you t- asking people, asking you for money, help them pay for their rent. You know, you feel obligated. You know, people need this. You're going to give it to them. You screw up at home. You're going to buy your wife a new car. You're going to go buy her more purses, whatever she needs. And, that, and and when you're doing things like that, you're not keeping track of your money. And you end up like Kenny is right now, which, you know, he's married um, to his current wife, Natasha. And it just seems to be going through, you know, a lot of everyday struggles like all of us. But he seems to be getting it together. You know, a couple of years ago, he had a DUI, lost his job. At the, at a, he was coaching in high school down in Florida. I um, mean, he lost his job, and he seemed to be on the right course, and you know that kind of was a, was a minor setback. Um, but you know, when you get it, when you watch the film, you'll see it from all angles. You'll see a guy that's that's trying to do better, that wants to do better, and I think this film is going to be that's therapeutic for him, or it has been because it's been a little while since it's been out. But for those of you who haven't taken a look at it, I mean, if you love the guy, you love basketball. It's a basketball story, but it's a lot about life and just a cautionary tale. A lot of these kids out here, you know, they want to go to the NBA. You know, they want this, they want the fame, they want the fortune, but are you prepared to handle what comes with it? You know, a lot of kids, instead of saying, hey, I just want to go to the NBA, you should say, I want to go to college and I want to get a free education. And if that NBA happens, then I'll be more prepared for it and so forth. You know, Kenny couldn't help it. He wasn't going to be in school four years anyway, but he's just a guy that was out there. Um, He had the skill, he had the skill and talent to leave after his freshman year, but he came back for a year to run the team and do what he had to do by himself. Had a great year statistically. The team wasn't as successful you know, gets to the NBA, then he does his part. But um, that doesn't take anything away from him. He's still a great guy. Um, he's working on himself. Um, as, as a film, I highly recommend. They put it together. You know, they put it together. They got You got to see a lot of, you know, a lot of his vulnerable side, man. And a lot of times you don't really get that from athletes because they're so big and bad and they're superheroes. But it was great to see him open up. And, you know, we kind of know why he, bell- he battled some of his demons. So if you're looking for something that's um, – you know, you're getting a life lesson and you, you get to see him and, and see him in all his glory. I recommend it to you. Um, I recommend it to you showing your kids. If you're a coach, I recommend you letting your players watch it just to kind of see what it was. Like, here's a guy who had everything and things were things didn't go the way. They, you know, that he's living a regular a, a regular life. A guy who plays 15 years in the NBA, you would expect him to have, you know, a little bit more, more of a breeze going through life. But it's not the case here. But with all that being said, you know, Kenny Anderson is still Kenny Anderson. We still hold him in high regard here in New York and all in, in all basketball circles across the world if you're one of those guys that, that know the sport. But, you know, much love, much respect to him for opening up and making the story. Um, it was a joy to watch, and I definitely recommend it to anybody that's out there. Again, signing off, Jamal Bolton for All Things Hoops. I'll see you again next time.